Yeah, the juice was good. <laughs> okay, we're at Value Village. We just came from a baby shower, Nancy and I. If you um, follow me on Instagram, if you're not, you should be. I won the baby game and got a $15 gift card to Tim Hortons. Look at that bougie bitch with her Louis Vuitton thrifting. Bougie bitch. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Yeah, you can tell right away. Okay. Yeah, even the box. Even the Adidas? Yeezys, yeah. I could just clean it up. Another five, oh no, six and a half, yeah. Like, just only one? Um, I don't even know. I don't know anything about shoes, so... We'll Google it after. It's funny. That's called the zebra, I think. I think it's a zebra. That's what they call it. Zebra... Oh, I can tell if, how, if it's real or not. Big ones don't have that. The ones I've seen anyway. I want to squeeze my feet into it. <laughs> Six, well, I'm kind of seven-ish. Dad yeah, yeah, for 17 and it's Ratchet AF. Ratchet AF. You'll be wearing Yeezys. This is a men's. No, not that small. Eight two dollar off. Hello, hello. Club member, Yes. Why <laughs> Okay, we're at, I don't know what this is called, but MCC. I keep saying MLCC, which is like Manitoba Liquor Commission. <laughs> Let's check it out. I haven't been here in a while. Last time Nancy was here, it was overpriced. So. Here's a mat and nap bag for $25.
super expensive. Their Lulu, they price at 35. Crazy. I just finished going through the whole purse section. It's pretty dismal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Body shop. It comes with a loofah. Five bucks though. Seems a little, a little much. Brand is expensive. Penguin. It's cute though. Kind of like Lulu almost. Okay, we're just coming from Value Village, as you can see up there. Um, we didn't find anything here, but we did find one thing. It's in my bag, and I'll show you guys when we get there. I ran into someone. Um, I forgot what his name was, but hi, who I ran into. <laughs> and we were going to go to um, Pembina, because that's where all the good stuff is. Actually, I'm going to give some donations first, because I want my 20% off coupon. And yeah, we're going to do that. So let us. Okay, we're at Value Village, Pembina, we made it her, we well, made it her, and yeah, this is the Value Village where we found the Fendi, Fendi bag, another Fendi bag, the Prada bag, the Burberry wallet, the Burberry scarf, the, we found a lot of good shit here, pretty much, um, Tiffany we found here as well, so. Hopefully we get some good treasures because we need money, money. Let's go. Let us go, let us go. I am a thrifting ho, -oh. I'm a ho, thrifting ho. -oh. I'm a thrifting, thrifting ho. I'm a ho, I'm a thrifting ho. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, that ASMR snow crunching. Got it for you guys. It's going to be like minus 52 tonight. So it's going to be cray cray. I'm wearing the Sorel shoes that we thrifted from here, actually. Oh, there I am. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's go. So here's the Lulu men's large, $15. It's a little bit faded though, but it's cute. Could possibly fit me now. Oh, that looks too manly though, actually. Never mind. There's a size dot inside of the pocket which says large coach over here, but there's like no price, but I mean, I'm not really interested in it much. It's a faux Burberry. Faux Berry. There's a CK, but it's toe up from the flow up. a faux Tory, Tory Birch. Super light. No Tory Birch emblem inside. And we want 20 bucks for it. Victoria Beckham bag for 20 bucks. Okay, is this authentic? I don't know. And these are, oh, they do have Michael Kors on them. I think it's leather. Oh yeah, it is real. That is so cute. And it's only 11 bucks. That's so cute. 
I think they think it's uh, like not authentic, that's why. Mm, cuteness. <laughs> super good deal super good glad we came because I was about to give up hope <coughs> this is kind of cute what is this coach Daniel? not even sure What's Danier? That's actually kind of cute for 20 bucks. It's not bad. You have a 20% off. That's, super, that's like a coach bag almost, like looking bag. It's cute. Especially since they priced it like significantly at other places. <laughs> Orange gas won't got it. We'll see. Blue, but it's 28 bucks. Handles are all cracked. This is one of my favorite. Oh, there's a tear or like a nick right there. I was gonna get it almost. This is like one of my favorite styles of wallet because this ins insert right here comes out and it holds all your credit cards. I wish it didn't have that huge nick right there. I mean, you can cover that up with sh a silver sharpie, but I don't know. If it was eight, maybe. We picked up this Michael Kors for 12 bucks. Leather backpack mini that can be like, it's like a pop spring almost. So that's cool. Ooh, it's cool. Kind of cute. It's the only thing we got. The Danny we passed on because there was like a tear in the zipper. Oh my god, it's so cold. Let's get inside. Let's see my can of goose right there. Gonna do a review and rant about it on <laughs> at my apartment. So, yeah. Uh, we'll hit up a couple of other thrift stores because. We need to pump out some videos before the end of the month and make that YouTube money. Whew. Are we're at Salvation Army. Um, yeah, I'm actually using my Bottega Veneta. Hello, like, hello, hello, how's it going? Hello. <laughs> Bottega Veneta. I actually like it. It's nice. I like it. I have it listed on my Depop, but no one's bought it, which is fine. I actually don't mind it. I like it that it's nice and big and black and big. Um, we're at Salvation Army on Empress, and we're gonna check it out because I do have a fifty percent off to use. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go in there and see what's up. Hope we find something. Let's go. It's fat. Well, I guess because I'm fat, but <laughs> still, shadow should be skinny. I think it's a coach. Then they have those two, obviously fake. Blue lemon for 15 bucks. Kind of old school. Lulu. Another blue. 13 bucks. Don't like the pattern. Okay. That's kind of cute. That's 10. But that's actually kind of cute. I like the little leopard print. It's a medium. It's not killed. Hmm. But we're gonna leave it behind because Tallulah doesn't sell that well, actually. Actually, I find that Aritzia pieces, I mean, it has to be a specific neutral kind of thing to sell. Oh, that's cute. The rainbow. Okay, nothing in the clothes. Let's look at furniture. Mm -hmm. Let's see, they have a home here. Remember when I had one of these as a kid? You were like the shit when you had this. Cassette player. But like you drop these and they're like this, the good quality ones won't break.
Look at the scarves. Maybe my scarf will show up here. Okay. We found a Danny here last time and sold for like 37. I think we paid like, sorry. I think we paid for like $8 for it. So that was good. Like I just like totally grazed my ass. Not gonna lie, felt nice. Not gonna lie at all. Oh, it is very neat. Oh. Eight bucks. That's kind of cuteness personified. I keep finding Danny here. That's a little cutie patootie. Maybe it's not. I don't know. That's Gagne. I'll hold on to it for eight bucks. Can't beat that. Can't. What's this? This feels substantial. Nine West. I don't know what I got this. She's got a cigarette there. She's kind of cute. Hey guys, we're just coming from uh, Salvation Army. We just found that Daniel leather bag. That's it. <laughs> um, I think we might go to Unicity Valley Village, but I'm not sure. Because I'm kind of on a time crunch, so I don't know if I want to go, but um, yeah, I guess we'll go because we need vlog footage and it's the end of the month and we need to make that YouTube money. But yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. My camera just shut off. I don't even know if I was recording previously. I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know if I was recording, but I was talking about Obama coming to speak. He has a speaking engagement here in, in Winnipeg. Um, and to me personally, I feel like he's the best president the United States has had. He's my favorite. And then second would be Clinton, I think. Because um, that's as far as I remember. I don't remember Reagan being a president. Like I do, but I don't. I only really started following, not following, but exposed to US politics around Clinton, Clinton administration. I think it's his accent that got to me. Anyway, I was saying how I want to go see Barack Obama speak, but it's so expensive. It's like $200. Even the nosebleeds are $100. What do you guys think of him as a president? Um, did you like him? Did you not like him? I feel like I would want Hillary Rodham Clinton to be president. I don't know. I feel like I like her. But then again, I'm just going based on what I know and what I don't know. I'm more of, I'm more like in the optics and I don't go behind it, you know? So I'm very ignorant when it comes to US politics. I don't, does it, it's not that it doesn't interest me, but it's not like, it doesn't affect me. Well, it does, but it doesn't, you know? So like, hello, I voted for Justin Trudeau because he was good looking, <laughs> um, pretty much. And like a lot of people don't like him as a president, a pres as a prime minister, prime minister is like president where I live, but I don't really see an effect of what he did. Like, I don't see a negative effect of what he's done. I don't know. That's just me though. I don't know. 
I'm not like a big conglomerate, conglomerate business person, business owner. I'm not like dependent on healthcare. So it's kind of like, I don't know, I'm not. If he's doing something, it's not affecting me in any way. But yeah, but I think he's so cute. He's, he's like Barack Obama. He's like the white Barack Obama. He's like so classy, so cute, so eloquent, so articulate. God, I want to marry him. I want a picture with him. I want like a picture with Barack Obama and I want a picture with Justin Trudeau. I think they'll just look classy like in your apartment and you'll be like, yeah, I got a picture with them. <laughs> That's why I kind of want to be rich. I kind of want to hobnob with those kinds of people. I feel like they will add some value to my life because I don't know, they're just people of power and people of importance and people who have left a mark and an imprint in the world. And it will be nice to kind of pick their brain and kind of, that's why I wanna go watch Barack Obama speak because I, I think even if it's nosebleeds, just being in his presence is something magical, I think. So, I missed it when Justin Trudeau was here. Who even has a president named Justin? It's always like old people names, but having a president like Justin, it's like, yeah, I'm Justin. I'm like, yeah, I'm Ashley. <laughs> That's like a hot guy named Justin. I'd like to see a female black president. That's what I want to see. Michelle Obama, hello. <laughs> Again, ignorance. I don't know anything about her political views or anything like that. I just, the optics is what I see. Or that girl, what's her name? I think she was the Secretary of State, Condelessa, Condelessa. She looks like she'd be a good president and she's a black, powerful female. I want a black, powerful female in the office. That's what I want. Ah! Anyway, yeah, I feel like we need a black, powerful person in, in office. I mean, woman. It's kind of like the Academy Awards, you know? Like, why aren't there more black females nominated for Academy Awards for Best Actress, you know? We have so many, I'm speaking like I'm black, <laughs> um, but um, like we have so many, I relate, no, I don't relate. I'm gonna choose my words wisely because someone's gonna be offended somewhere. Not that I relate with black people, but I've, I've exposed myself to a lot of what it is like for a long time when it comes to music and media and uh, visually and audioly, audioly. <laughs> um, so I kind of, it's kind of retained. Like when my friends were watching Friends and they were watching Saturday Night Live and they were watching um, uh, Full House, which I still like though. I was watching Family Matters and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Martin and Mad TV because that's what I liked, you know? That's the kind of humor that I liked. That's the kind of, you know, what I, I liked. Even like, I don't want to offend anybody, but the black movies, I liked the black movies and I always liked them. Like even in the 90s when my friends wanted to go watch, let's say 97, um, my friends wanted to go watch, uh, what was it? It was like such a white movie forgot what it was I think it was like a Sandra Bullock movie and I wanted to watch Booty Call <laughs> with Jamie Foxx and I'm like uh no and I was like uh why anyway like I love those quote-unquote black movies like how Stella got her groove back deliver us from Eva uh just trying to think of more 90s movies uh, Menace to Society Boys in the Hood uh Above the Rim Poetic Justice uh Higher Learning which isn't really a black movie but Friday, a booty call. Um, oh, that Halle Berry where she's like a ghetto girl. What's it called? Um, Baps, Black American Princess. Um, I'm trying to think. Anything Angela Bassett. Love Angela Bassett, which I still say that she was robbed at the 1993 Academy Awards. And I was watching the 1993 Academy Awards and I was 11, okay? Why was I watching What's Love Got To Do With It? Like that wasn't even appropriate at my age at that time. Um, but she was totally robbed. She did such a phenomenal performance and as Tina Turner in the 1993 uh, biopic, What's Love Got To Do With It? Like her, her, I didn't watch Holly Hunter in the piano, but assuming it was good, but I bet Angela Bassett did a better performance. Another person who was robbed, I think personally, was Viola Davis at the 2012 Academy Awards for a 2011 performance in The Help. Meryl Streep took the Academy Award for The Iron Lady, which was a good performance too. I'm not gonna knock her for that. But 
I was more affected by Viola Davis's performance in The Help. So I think that she should have won. Or at least a tie, you know. Anyway. And plus Meryl Streep has enough nominations and enough Academy Awards to like, you know. But, yeah. What were we talking about again? I can't remember. Yeah. The Academy Awards. Like, performances. That's why I'm so, I was so happy. Oh, Regina King was nominated this year. So I'm so happy she was nominated because she's another great actress. I love her. She's one of my favorites. I also love um, Sana Sana Lathan, Lathan, I think. I like her. I love Queen Latifah as an actress. I'm not really Academy. Well, I guess she can be Academy Award-ish when she when she does like her performance in Chicago was really good, which she was nominated to, by the way. Um, but I love I love movies that have to deal with like racism and black culture and you know su being suppressed and repressed and oppressed. Um, one of my favorite movies that I still have on DVD, two of them. Number one is um, the Josephine Baker story. So good. It was an HBO movie. Came out in 1991. So it was. It's a really old, but I only watched it literally like 10 years ago. So some time had passed before I watched it. It was such an amazing performance. Oh, I forgot what's her name again. Oh, I forgot her name. She always plays mothers and in, in uh, Tyler Perry movies. Uh, I forgot her name, but she did a phenomenal performance. She did win, I think, an Emmy and a Golden Globe, I think, for her performance. But yeah, if you haven't seen the Josephine Baker story, so good. She plays Josephine Baker, and just to see how life was back then being a black woman in the entertainment industry is just so insightful and so, like, you feel for, for the, you feel for that era. Another one, introducing Dorothy Dandridge with Halle Berry, released in 1999. Watch that movie. Oh, that was even a better movie. Well, I wouldn't say better, but I liked it a hell of a lot. Um, Halle Berry's performance was amazing and just seeing how she was a if you don't know who Dorothy Dandridge is which is surprising because Janet Jackson was supposed to play her in a movie but then I guess too much time came by and she got too old to play her but because um, I know that Janet Jackson bought the rights to a Do Dorothy Dandridge Dandridge uh, biography but I guess it just never came to fruition for her to do but Halle Berry did the perform uh, did the did a different version of the movie and she won an emmy and a golden globe and it was just an amazing performance and to see that that happened in america don't know how it was in canada but knowing that happened in america it's kind of like wow like she was one of the like she was compared to marilyn monroe like she was one of the top box office draws and like sex symbols of the 50s i think she was really high paid and for a african-american woman that was like unheard of like she <clears throat> they were like low because i don't know if you know how it was back in the day for actresses or actors in like the golden era of hollywood lesson <laughs> but usually a movie, com a movie company owned you, basically. They owned you as an actor and actress. You couldn't do films with other companies. And then they basically, you struck like a deal with them, like a 10 picture deal or a three picture deal. And you were like locked in with them and you couldn't do anything else without their approval. Anyway, um, she was locked in. After her, her box office success in Cleopatra Jones, I think it was the movie. Anyway, not like Cleopatra, was it Cleopatra? No, not Cleopatra Jones. Um, Carmen Jones, I'm <laughs> thinking Cleopatra. Carmen Jones, which she was nominated for an Academy Award, the first black actress to get nominated for Best Actress at the Academy Awards. When, um, after that, she was locked into a movie studio, I forgot which one it was, MGM maybe, or Warner, I can't remember. Anyway, they struck her and she signed out like a $100,000 three picture deal with them, which is like unheard of back in the day. This is like the 50s. $100,000 back then is probably like two million to like equivalent today crazy and to think that she was that like that's how powerful she was as an actress and then she had all these plans of like the, the movie studio planned on because like the thing is america back then wasn't ready for a black leading lady you know so what their plan was with her was to make her like a mexican late lady because she was fair light skin they planned on making her a mexican leading lady and then an italian leading lady because she was fair enough so that she could um play those roles um, but then her her lover Otto Preminger, who was like her
her lover slash manager or whatever he was. He was the director of of Carmen Jones, but they started like an affair. He was like, they actually cast her in a movie opposite um, Elizabeth Taylor and James Dean, but she was playing a slave girl and her lover, Otto Preminger, was like, you're a big star. We're, you can't play a slave girl. That will, you're like basically ruining your career. You're, you're downgrading yourself after having like an Academy Award nomination and then a box office hit with Carmen Jones and you're gonna play a slave? And then she changed her mind and she's like, no, I'm not gonna play a slave even though she was already, you know, attached to the picture to play it. And then she kind of uh, burned bridges with the movie company and then she made, her career just went to, the, to a downward spiral after that. And then he dumped her. He never left her, his wife for her um, because like interracial coupling back then was very taboo and whatever. But it's a really interesting movie. Anyway, we talked a lot about that. Um, watch it if you haven't. Introducing Dorothy Dandridge. Such a good movie. This one movie I want to see, it, was, it starred um, Angela Bassett and Linda Hamilton, but it was a made-for-TV movie in the 90s, I think, 94. It, the premise of it, or what, what it's about like a black family that moves into a white neighborhood and what they kind of go through and what happens. And I've been trying to find it to stream can't find it anywhere i found the vhs cassette on ebay but they want literally like a hundred dollars for it or 40 there was one for 40 but it was like but i don't want to pay that much you know for a movie i'm gonna watch once so i've been i want to watch that movie so bad i just read the imdb synopsis of it and it looks really good but and you can't go wrong with linda hamilton and angela bassett anyway we're at value village let's go inside and check it out Okay, I'm gonna hide these behind here because we don't want anybody stealing all shit. I'm just gonna bring my wallet so it's not too heavy. Uh, okay. My Bottega Vanetta. Let's go. I hope I have enough vlog footage. Uh, let me guys know if you like me doing the haul separately in a separate video because I kind of like doing it that way. Like, vlog is a vlog, haul is a haul sit down is a sit down y'all know how it is <laughs> let's go I know Nancy was already here earlier, so she could have got something good, who knows? I don't know. Say Danya anywhere. Wait, no, it doesn't. Hmm, here's an X Under Armour. Not a bad price, seven dollars. Um, oh, what 
Tatars. That's kind of cool. What is this? Feels like it's suede. No, it's faux suede. anything here. 24, but this one is 34. Maybe because it's white, it's worth more? I don't even know. I want a white one. And <laughs> don't we all want a white one? But it's just so dirty. This might be worth it for like, I don't know, 34 though. Way too much. 34, 24. <laughs> and guys, would you buy underwear at a thrift store? I'm guessing this is Victoria's Secret if this is like 10 bucks. What is it? You should. Oh, it's Calvin Klein. Would you guys buy underwear at a thrift store? I'm not, I'm not sure if I would. <gasps> is this cute for 15? I love the spell out of roots. 15, no, no. <gasps> this one's cute too, Calvin Klein, with that spell out there. Cute. Oh, it's a 1X too. Heller. Oh wait, what's going on over here? Too much. I think it's, I just said too much about the manager. Walk by. <laughs> See, that's a good price, $8 for this route, but it's not the spell out, and we want the spell out. <sighs> I wanna make it clear though, that I don't think Value Village is too expensive. I mean, like I said so many times before, that it's different from what I would buy for myself than what it is to resell. I still think their prices are pretty good. Of course, I say that because I want to collaborate with them eventually. <laughs> so. Like, I'm not gonna front. My goal is to be the number one thrifting channel and then all these thrift stores are gonna collab with me. Like, that's the goal. Like, I'm not even gonna front about it. I will surpass every other thrifting channel in views and in subs and that is the goal and i'm not going to stop until it happens to be honest give me some lulu give me some pink i haven't seen pink that often at the thrift store that much anymore if i do it's like severely worn Probably all the other. Oh, look. She's a hoe. She's a hoe. I'm a hoe. Oh, the exercise machine is still here. Let's see how much it is. Do they raise the price? Nope, it's still the same. $19.99. Vintage. Plain and simple. Super cute. It's only like seven bucks, which is even better. Like, kind of cool. Thank you. That's kind of nice. 20 bucks is a good price for that too. I like looking at the artwork, even though I don't have much room in my place anymore for artwork. Ooh, this is a nice clock. Big dollar. That's a cute piece. How much is that? Uh, 15, that's not bad actually either. It's a nice like for beginner decor at your place. Those two things are cute too. Those, I'm Catholic, but those pictures kind of scare me.
have this phone. That was like one of my first phones. Oh, it's just like my third or fourth, but that was like in 1999 I had that phone. I think we might thrift later tonight. We'll see if we can fit it in because I have to go with my trainer and do stuff with my brother. Um, so yeah. We will. If there's any more vlog footage, we'll have some. If we don't, we won't. You guys know the deal. <laughs>